Damn it. Ridge knew just where to hit us. He knew he couldn't compete with our collection, so he cut us out of the market. You know, buying Spectro is bad enough, but taking all our buyers? Oh, he's proud of what he's done. Yeah, they all are. You know how I'd love to smack that smug smile off Sally's face? You know, and him, Massimo Moroni, what a little creep. You know, it is possible that Moroni influenced Ridge. Maybe that's it. Maybe Massimo's behind all this. Why not? Dad, look, I know this is hard to believe, okay? But I saw Ridge. I saw the look in his face, Dad. I saw the hatred, and I saw the bitterness. This thing has consumed him, Dad. It's changed him. He wants us to fail. Yeah. Maroney's behind this. There's no doubt about that. But that Ridge could turn on his family like this on his own father? No, no, no. He thinks he's doing this for you, Mr. Forrester. Ridge is after me and Amber and the Ambrosia line. Yeah, the new face of Forrester. He can't accept it, so he destroys us. And the whole company, too. Amber, you're a Forrester. Ridge seems to forget that. Seems to have forgotten that he's a Forrester, too. Mommy, Mommy! Oh, hi, honey. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Forrester. He kind of just got away from me. No, that's fine. All right, good. I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. You know, I think it's okay. I think we could all use a little break right here. Yeah. I need some fresh air. And I'll be in my Thank office. You. You say hi to Grandpa? Oh. Let's go see your Grandpa. Hey, Gramps. Hey. Please. My own daughter. I've lost her. Bridget's upset, Brooke. Upset? Upset? Are you stupid? She's devastated. My God, you didn't cheat on her with a hooker. You cheated on her with her own mother. Don't you think I know that? No, I don't think you have any concept of the damage that you've done or the ramifications. I was supposed to protect her, and I didn't. And the secret and all the lies. My God, I don't know how she's going to forgive me. Brooke, listen to me. Bridget will forgive you in time. Oh, my God, Deacon, you heard her on that phone. She said that she didn't want me in her life. And she doesn't if you're in it. I think Stephanie's right. I mean, look at the reality here. Even though Bridget found out that you and I were together, and the fact that I had this baby, it really doesn't change a thing. I love my daughter too much, and I'm not going to risk it. You and I cannot be together. You're serious? You got every buyer? Talk to every one of them personally. Bergman's? Fenmore? Mm -hmm. All of them, Bucky. And all because of Ridge. <laughs> I love it. You would have loved it even more if you'd been here to see the looks on their faces when they found out that Ridge was behind all of it. Wait. Ridge, they saw you here? Oh, I figured there's no point in keeping it a secret anymore. Rich took full credit. It was well worth it, too. But so soon? I, I thought you were going to wait until during the show. Everything is in place, and there isn't a thing that Forrester can do. No, nothing except to endure a long, painful slide down the ladder to the bottom of the heap. Is this what you want, Rich? To ruin your father's company? It's not his company anymore. It's Brooks and her new face of Forrester. Either way, you know they're not going to survive this. Yeah, we're betting on that. But all of the resources are tied up in this ambrosia line. If they can't make up their losses, this is going to destroy them. And not just the company, Ridge, but your whole family. You stop to consider what this is going to do to them? What are you worried about? That Kristen will lose her job? No. That she won't forgive her brother. Tony, I'm doing this for my family. You'll see that. Hell, they'll thank me for it. What Rick and Amber are doing here is destroyed the Forrester reputation. Well, I'm here to save it. 
Once that train wreck happens, my dad will be free of them forever. And in the meantime, my designs are going to be beyond reproach. The Forrester name will mean something again. It'll stand for beauty and innovation and class. Okature is what my father built his name on. That's what he taught me. And that's where his legacy stands, not with some ambrosial line. But you're not just ruining a small collection, Rich. This is Forrester Creation's biggest production in history. Antonio, Eric made his choice. He turned against Rich. Now he's got to reap the consequences. Well, however you want to justify this. Without distributors, Forrester Creations cannot move their merchandise. That's not our concern. Maybe it should be. Is everything okay, Rick? No. We're in the middle of a major crisis. Maybe I should take little Eric home then. No, this is good. This is good. It reminds us of what we're fighting for. You're so good. Yeah. Now it's the other way. <gasps> Did you do that? I'll do this. Hey, Amber. Um, thanks for bringing him by. No, it's no problem. I, I don't want to interrupt your meeting, though. I just heard you're back, and I thought you might like a visit. Can we talk privately? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, look, Erica. I owe you an apology. You know, the way I acted towards you when you were first sitting for Erica. It wasn't very nice. You see, um, I had just buried two children and uh, felt like a failure as a wife and as a mother. And I started taking these pills because I thought they'd make me feel better, but they just made everything a lot worse. I was threatened by you pretty girl in the house doing the things that I couldn't, like take care of my own son. And it was really hard to accept that I needed help. At least you got that help. And you faced your fears and you checked yourself into rehab and now look at you. You're doing great, you're drug free. Hmm. Not out of the woods just yet. Yeah, well, you're home now. What you've done, the strength it took, I will always admire you for that. Thank you, Erica. Thanks for everything. Is this what you want, Brooke? Do you want me to stay away from you? This is not about me anymore, Deacon. This is about Bridget. And I can't go on without her. I know. She'll never come back to you as long as I'm around. That's right. And every time she sees us together, it'll just remind her of what we did. And the pain that we put her through. And I can't torture her like that. I just thought that somehow with the baby here now, we could, I don't know, we could salvage some good out of this. I'm trying. I wanted to do was just to hold you in my arms and just raise our child together. That's not enough now, is it? I just want my daughter back. Please understand. I do. And I swear to you, Brooke, you're gonna get her back. How? I'm just gonna have to stay away from you. As much as it's gonna kill me, I, I know that Bridget will never come back to you as long as I'm around. Yes, but can you do that? I mean, you've tried it once before, and look what happened. I'm never going to regret the time that we spent together. This beautiful baby that we brought into this world. Brock, she's a symbol. She's a, a living symbol of our love. And it's a love that was 
was wrong by circumstance, not by anything we did. You know, in my heart, nothing's changed. I still feel exactly the same way for you. But I know that in your heart, Bridget comes first. It's okay. It's, it's all right. I'm, uh, I'll be able to survive. Just like I know you will. Even if I'm not going to be around to see it. What are you trying to say, Deacon? I guess I'm saying you're right, Stephanie. If Brooke's ever going to get her daughter back, then I can't be in the picture. You're really lucky, you know that, Rick? Hmm? Your wife. I'm really glad she's back. Me too. And thank you, Erica, not just for watching Eric, but for being my friend. It was really nice having you there while Amber was gone. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Um, <clears throat> look, I hope I didn't overstep my bounds the other night. What do you mean? When I tried on the Forrester original, I mean, I know that it sounds silly, but I am never going to forget that night. I could only dream of owning something so beautiful. Well, what's wrong with what you have on right now? This? Are you kidding me? No, no. It's, it's hip and it's cute. Where'd you get it? Um, the Telesave Network? You know, that, that thing on TV. Really? Yeah, actually, it's where all my friends get their clothes. Well, it's easy. All a girl needs is a phone and a credit card, and she's got the latest fashions at her doorstep. Anyway, I know you guys are busy, so I'm gonna take little Eric home, but I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, baby, yeah. you ready to go? Let's go get food. Oh, Bye, 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 You know, Ridge, it's absolutely amazing. You managed to accomplish everything you set out to do. You've made this a red-letter day for us. Well, some don't see it that way. You mean Antonio? Well, don't worry about him. He'll come around. He'll realize you're talking sense. Hey, I'm just doing what I do best. That's all, Sal. So. Don't have to tell me that. I've seen the designs. They speak for you. Some of the best work you've ever done. They're absolutely exquisite. Everybody is going to want to get on board for that ride. Don't you see what you've done? You got Spectra Fashions back in business again, and you have got Forrester Creations exactly where you want them, on their knees. You know, I didn't really want it to be this way. I wanted to do this at Forrester. Those designs... These designs are what I was taught, what I grew up with, what we were good at. Now I've watched Brooke hand over my legacy to Rick, that inexperienced paper boy and his trashy wife. Hell, they couldn't even spell Forrester when I began to start that business. Now they're running the show. You know what, Sal? It's gonna be their own selfish greed that becomes their downfall gonna bring them down in flames, Ridge. Millions and millions of dollars in inventory, and they haven't been able to secure a buyer. Now, that is not exactly the first rule of economics that they teach you in business school. Without retail outlets, there's no way they can unload a fraction of that inventory. It seems that Brooke backed the wrong horse. Painful lesson to be learned, isn't it, Sal? Oh, yes. But for those of us that she has harmed, it's a very pleasant lesson to teach. I have an idea. Now, you're probably not going to like it at first, and I wasn't even going to say anything, but we have to do something. 
What is it? We unload our inventory on the Telesave network. The what? Telesave, it's that, it's that TV channel, you know, they show you the merchandise and then people call in with the credit card. Yeah, yeah, I used to watch it with my mom. It's really cool. You want to hawk a Forrester Creations collection on some cheesy call-in TV show? Do you have a better idea? Well, no, but there has got to be a better way. There is no other way. I think it's a great idea. Look, Dad, I really think this could work. We have no choice. And what do you say? Over my dead body. I'd like to give you that chance. The chance to get Bridget back that you wouldn't have if I was around. I'm gonna quit Forrester. You're going to leave? Yeah. And don't you know by now there's nothing in this world, nothing at all that I wouldn't do for you. Oh, Deacon. Brooke, I know that Bridget is the most important thing in your life. And she's someone that I took away from you and maybe I can help you get her back. You know, Deacon, I believe you when you say that you can walk away from Brooke. But what about the baby? What about your daughter? I mean, do you understand, really, that you have to leave her, too? She deserves better than I can give her right now. But one thing I can do is I can... I can make damn sure that my daughter doesn't come into a world where she's embroiled in a scandal. I love you so much. I don't ever want you to think that your daddy's leaving you because I'm not. I just want to give you the best life that you can have. And it just so happens that that's not with me right now. It's going to be with your mommy, with Stephanie. Pretty soon you're going to be with your sister, Bridget. I wish I could take you with me. This is where you got to be. Your mommy needs you. You gotta be strong for her too, okay? And I always want you to remember that your daddy loves you very, very much. And you're always gonna be daddy's girl. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, I know you're gonna do a good job with her. Do a hell of a lot better than I could. I give you my word on that. You know, Brooke, most people, they just have memories. But you and me, we got this beautiful little girl. Do me a favor and just tell her I love her every chance you get. Someday the storm is gonna clear, Brooke. And when it does, you better believe it. I'm gonna be right there waiting for you. Don't forget what you and I had and try not to regret it too much. Because it was the best thing that ever happened to me.